Welcome back to BPJ Game Station, where we game to please. Um, we are going to be running uh, Molten Depths T15 with the uh, Pyromancer build today. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump into it because it's going to be a pretty long video. Prepare yourself, make sure you're ready, make sure your your ammo's full, and then uh, head on through the, to the next section. Um, there will be a lot of the spiders and stuff coming out here, so. Like always with this build, I'll, I'll try to gather most of them up and uh, do a hellfire, and then the overheat to you know, just amass a large amount of anomaly power and uh, you know everything else. So. have to be careful here because I don't have a lot of armor. So just try to knock them out as fast as possible. Uh, see, now there's three of them. Like I said, guys, I mean, uh, it's not going to be the strongest field, but, you know, it's got a lot of survivability to it. So, um, you know, just go with it that way. And I said as many of them on uh, 305 and 415, you know. This is where, if I would have got them lined up j just exactly right, this is where I can get, get it up to like 1.1 million. Uh, I might try it here. See what that does. I don't know what that does. Uh, 458, but yeah. Still not bad, but I have, like I said, I got the armor up to 1.1 million there, and, you know, that's just awesome. Let's see what that is. 634 anomaly power right there. Alright guys, and if all that shit wasn't enough, uh, here comes the fun part. Geothermal stuff ranges from salvageable to pull me out of my mess. Alright, so damage dealt 288 million. Uh, I mean, you can just kind of look at that chart. Phaser beam, 78 million of it. Uh, burn. Pretty good. Uh, just gonna go over the build so basically start with the class I went down some of the bottom pick up uh, the anomaly power 10% um, I came down here for this mostly was the explosive reduced cooldown of your explosive skill um, that is for the uh, overheat and then uh, increase your anomaly power 10% uh, increase weapon damage and anomaly power by 5 Incre decrease all your skill cooldowns by 10%. Uh, increase your max health by 10%. Reduce ignite skills cooldown by 15%. And pretty much all my skills are ignite, so that's what I'm using. Uh, increase your arm armor piercing against marked enemies. This kind of uh, ties into the final node on this tree. Uh, burn afflicted on enemies deals 20% more damage. Uh, increase your max health by 10%. Increase your resistance. Uh, sometimes you need a little extra resistance. I didn't use an ability for resistance, which you could do that, but uh, I just chose to increase resistance here just to, you know, save me an uh, uh, armor and ability. Um, you could go this other route and pick up this uh, increased weapon damage and anomaly power by 5%, but I think uh, the resistance is going to be more important for uh, your survivability. 
uh, and then increase max health by 10%, uh, skill leech by 6, increase your max health by 10%, um, increase your skill leech by 6. Uh, this is very important, activating ignite skills increases your armor by 45% for 10 seconds. We're constantly uh, spamming ignite skills, constantly getting our armor up, and that's how I could get those big numbers like 600k armor and so forth. So uh, you're definitely going to want to pick that one up. Um, double skill leech uh, when under 30% of max health. Uh, reduce ignite skills cooldown by 15%. Uh, activating ignite skills increases your armor piercing by 45% and resistance piercing by 45% for 10 seconds and then uh, enemies afflicted by burn receive 15% more damage. And this one here, this is what I was saying, it ties into uh, the armor piercing. So increase your armor piercing against marked enemies by 30. And then uh, this one is also armor piercing by 45% and resistance piercing by 45%. And then one of our abilities ties into this as well, so just keep that in mind. Um, and then for the skills, of course, we're using Heat Wave. Uh, you can't go wrong with that one. That's awesome. 5.5 second cooldown on that. Then Overheat. I wish we could cut that in half a little bit, but I don't want to waste a, a, an armor ability for the cooldown. So, you know, it's going to stay at 11.2, which is fine. Um, and then also the Phaser Beam. Uh, got 7.6 7 .7, seconds cooldown on that. Uh, you know, very good. I think that's... That's good enough for uh, what we what we need to use it for. Um, so basically, I got the phaser beam up to 358,000. Uh, you could get it up a little bit more than that, but uh, you know, for this purpose, I mean, I think that's adequate. Um, you can also make this build a little bit stronger by getting your status power up, but you know. So um, the weapon I'm using is actually it is this uh, Emperor's Will. And it is just, you know, a high level uh, 92.8k uh, firepower uh, sh automatic shotgun. Um, what I like about this weapon is it's got status power on that. And that, that helps raise up the, uh, the phaser beam damage. Uh, so that's why I got this on here. Um, I also put moaning winds on it and then death chains. That's just what came on it. You could, uh, you know, get any other ability that, you know, has any kind of a... Uh, just like a more damage effect uh, like I said you know we're not really worried about the uh, the output of the weapons anyway moaning winds you know if, if I'm in a bind and I'm trying to finish off an enemy I'll just reload or uh, run the bullets out and then auto reload so uh, that's what we got the moaning winds for and then uh, you could also use the animoy uh, this is the one I've used quite a bit getting up to this with the moaning winds and the fortress but uh, it doesn't have status power on the attributes, so that's why I switched it out for this normal shotgun. Um, I put this w uh, Roaring Umbra on here. It, it's not even, uh, the attributes are not maxed out or anything. Uh, I got the Kinetic Stomp, what it, which is what it comes with, and then the Ultimate Damage Link. Uh, I don't use this a lot. I actually put this on here just for some long distance, but I still don't think the, the firepower is strong enough to really make a difference. So really you're going to stick to the, the good old shotgun. Um, so then for the armor pieces we got the helmet of the Akari, the armor of the Akari, and the waist cloth of the Akari. I know these are hard to get guys but you know it's what makes the, the build run so well. Um, the way I got these three pieces is I bought them from uh, Tiago before they went up in price so they started out at level 42 and then um, I built them up to level 50 so you know that's I was just re-rolling until I got all three pieces um, also you can get it from the little trick with the uh, hunt missions so you know if you want to do it that way you know that's another way to pick this stuff up okay so basically these three pieces are pretty much rolled you know perfectly you got anom anomaly power you got skills life leech uh, status power um, and all that is stuff is just topped out. I, you know, got the anomaly power through the status power all the way up. Uh, so it's got the first ability. It comes on the armor. It's fire tsunami. Uh, increase the width of the firewall. 
and then you know the second ability is damage absorber absorber that's nothing new it's just you know increases your armor by 52k uh, resistance by 10 percent you know this is definitely worth it you need some survivability if you can't survive you know you're not putting out them damage numbers so you know go with it put it on there and it's awesome and then uh the second piece is the armor of the Ikari. It's got anomaly power, skill, skills life, leech, and cooldown reduction. Um, all good attributes. Uh, and then I put, uh, for the first ability, a blacksmith overheat. Each status condition consumed by the skill grants 52,000 uh, armor bonus for 8 seconds. This is how I was getting my armor up so high. So, you know, I would use heat wave, then I would use overheat to suck up all them status conditions and I would get my armor up to 52k so that's a must have for survivability it it, it makes this build awesome it makes it very tanky uh, you know at least for eight seconds but <laughs> hopefully we can kill stuff faster than that um, anyway then for the second ability you got tidal wave which just uh, lets you have one more heat wave before it runs out um, and then you got the waste cloth of Akari and you got anomaly power, skills life leech, cooldown reduction, you know, perfect roles for this build. Uh, anomaly echo, that's not the best ability, but it comes on this armor piece, so uh, you know, you gotta stick with it unless you wanna try some of the other Akari pieces. But uh, grants 90 10 firepower and 11k uh, anomaly power uh, for 15 seconds on skill activation. And then um, the Second ability is un untamed power. Using skills deals 40k damage to enemies within a 5 meter radius around you. The damage is equal to 30% of your anomaly power. I think this is an amazing ability it, You know, for survivability. Every time you hit a uh, heat wave, it does a little damage around you. So you know it kills any uh, enemies that's in close range. So I think this is an awesome ability to have on there. So I would stick with that. Um, if you want to change it out and play around with it a little bit, be my guest. But, you know, this is what works best for my gameplay style. Um, and then the three-piece set for the Akari is uh, every enemy damaged by heat wave grants 50% anomaly power bonus for 10 seconds. That's the other thing that, you know, gets that anomaly power up so high. And then um, for the last or the uh, second to last piece, you got the just a regular pair of gloves. Um, I got a perfect roll on this. I got anomaly power, status power, and cooldown reduction. I love this. Um, status power to get my phaser beam up higher. Uh, then I put first ability burnt out. Uh, damaged enemies take 25% more damage for 8 seconds. And then Ashen Champion. Um, that comes off of... Just checking my notes. Um, Ashen Champion. It comes off the helmet of the Lava Lick. So, you know, that is another piece of armor that you'll have to get. But, uh, you know, it's definitely worth it because uh, inflicts ash on enemies instead of burn. Uh, each enemy hit boosts your anomaly power by 20% for 10 seconds. Stacks up to five times. Um, another awesome ability. Um, I wouldn't change that out for anything else. Keep that on there. That's It's awesome. Um, and then finally, for the last piece, we got the boots. Uh, I put Phoenix Force on there, and this is also very good skill, I think. Um, it earns additional 6,000 anomaly power per status consumed by the skill for 8 seconds. Stacks up to 10 times. You know, this gets that anomaly power up there real high. Um, you know, just great for the build. And uh, f as far as the attributes for this armor piece, I got max health. I think you need some health on this. You know, everything can't be anomaly power and... Uh, you know, because you got to survive. If you're not surviving, you're not you're not killing you're not killing shit. So, uh, you know, we got the max health on this. We got the cooldown reduction, and then another status power that also helps the phaser beam. So, and then the final ability is ride the wave. Uh, the skill can be activated one more time. You know, that's amazing. You could change that out for some other skills if you're having trouble surviving. Um, Ones that I would recommend would be Ember, Sh Ember Shield, and that increases resistance by 10%, uh, stacks up to five times. Uh, that's another overheat ability. Or you could put a Circle of Power on there, which is uh, it adds 15% resistance every time you do a skill for like seven seconds or something like that. Um, 
and those are the two that I would recommend but I really like ride the wave on this because I like spamming heat heat uh, or yeah heat wave so much so um, I would really recommend that one but uh, that's the build guys uh, that's what you know got us on the t15 uh, track for molten depths and let's see what else have we beat with it we beat boomtown Kim plant and archways of Enoch uh, I still got some other ones to try but you know that's what we got so far guys I hope y'all enjoyed the video and please like and subscribe um, you know use this armor I, I hope you know you if you can make it better or if you have some pointers for me to you know get something working a little bit better uh, be my guest and let me know um, I'm gonna make another video to shorten this up a little bit but um, I'm gonna keep the full gameplay out there as well so if anybody wants to see the entire run through they can uh, like always guys this is BPJ Game Station where we game to please and I will see y'all in the next episode